Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Super Mario World The After Years, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Time to enter the plant-eating forest, and to be honest, I should be safe because I made a meat. Or maybe they like my hair. I don't think my hair is made out of plants, is it? And by mine, I mean figuratively to mute, not exactly to myself. Is this water gonna hurt me? Oh, it won't hurt me. You just won't feel a thing when you succumb to death. Okay, so apparently the water will eat you. Good to know. Huh, these plants from Yoshi's Island. You know, I should just be thankful that they don't just respawn their full health whenever they go off screen. Nice music though, they're actually using Sting Chameleon's music from Mega Man X. And that was pretty bad. Should I use my P-Switch here? Whoa, jeez. Oh, excuse me? The enemy was dead. Why do I still take damage? What is this fresh? What is going on? Eh, doesn't matter now. You can move the blue time lifts in any direction while standing on it. Time is limited, however. Um... What the hell does that even mean? Oh, okay. I, I see what it is now. And you can move diagonally, too. Nice. Not so nice that I botched it. But to be fair, I mean, look how I'm standing on it. A lot can go wrong. Wait, what happened to the coin? Did I literally just clip it? That's so weird, but at least I should have more time to grab it now. And by it, I mean the coin. And it just took off parts of it. I think the block overlapped over it. And because it's not really a native sprite to Super Mario World, well, this type of platform that you can actually move, I think it just glitched the coin. That is so weird. That being said, however, I mean, I know how this thing works. And at least you can just move diagonally, so that'll save you a lot of time. Because if you can only go in four directions, that could be a problem. I find one direction a problem, four is a bit of a hindrance. But anyways, let's not worry about that yet. I might have to deal with those platforms again later. Like, immediately, pretty much. I thought it was going to be later, like, maybe just midway through this next part, not immediately. Well, that was just dumb of me. You know what? I'll just take that full health again. Nice. And now we shall leave. Oh, I missed a coin somewhere. Eh, whatevs. Wiggler Jungle! That sounds like it could mean so many different things. Other than a jungle full of wigglers. But who knows? Oh, there's Amazing Hammer Brothers, too. Not much of a wiggler jungle now, is it? It's not just wigglers. Well, it's just a bunch of ju it's a now it's just a jungle with a couple wigglers in it. Compared to everything else, like blue piranha plants, charging chucks, and coins. And these Wigglers are the butterfly ones! I think these are the ones that go completely ape shit as soon as you jump on them once. And then when you do, I mean, you pretty much have to head for, your hit, head for the hills. It's like slashing cuckoos in Zelda. After a while, a lot of things go wrong. Except with those enemies, it just goes wrong immediately. Fight a Fire Flower is no problem because you can kill them with that. Now, I've dealt with them in a few other hacks in my time. And by my time, I mean probably a year or so ago, give or take. So that's not really much of a long time. It might be to some people that don't remember it. Not everybody has a long-term memory. Can I go down here? Okay, I'm back. I apologize for the abrupt delay there, but I just had some mild interruptions, so now let's get back to the game. Okay, yeah, I figure there'll be platforms over there. Better than say, uh, no, you get nothing, a uh, leap of faith. Good luck! 
Not the case here, thankfully. I wonder if there's something down here on this spot. Because this spot seems a bit harder to get to. Makes you wonder. Oh, got the checkpoint. I'm thinking this is where I'm supposed to go. Maybe the other path on top is the secret... Wow. <laughs> that could not have been pulled off any more better for that piranha plant. <laughs> Jump over the lava gets picked off in midair. Not making that same mistake twice, and there was a fire pillar. Good thing I dodged that too. Okay, so there was an actual wiggler that wasn't flying. And what was the whole point of flying over here? I mean, get on the trampoline, I could just easily get over there. I mean, if it was low enough for me. Now, will I need a P-switch of some sorts? To get over there to the right side? Oh, I do have to go this way. Fair enough. These hacks seem to write themselves, it seems. Uh, let me take the trampoline with me, just in case. I have a feeling I might need it somewhere else. Well, I don't think I will, but if I do, at least I'm prepared. It probably won't be needed at all. Usually when you take a trampoline, you only get to use it once. Even if you can take it with you, there's no other practical uses for the rest of the level. Unless you get another trampoline. That seems to be the common trope these days. Guess some people would usually leave it behind, and then one think, oh, well, I didn't, need, didn't think I needed it anymore, but I did. So now I gotta backtrack all the way. Huh? Green block? Why was that block colored differently? A anyways, let's just go back to where that pipe was that I skipped. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back here with the two platforms, so instead of taking the bottom path, why don't we take the top path? There's probably something over here. You know, like Eternal Darkness and Munchers. The Munchers part is the one that gets to me. There's also ninjas here, because that usually show up in the dark levels. But, I mean, you can still pick them out. I mean, seriously. What other enemies jump around like that and are totally black? If you know what they are, they're probably not in this game. And the secret exit was easy to find. Just get to the end of this part. And I go here? Toxic Forest Ride. Hmm. Someone tells me this level is going to be dangerous. Okay, I don't remember this track at all. It's probably in some game I never played. Mm, nope, I, I don't recognize it at all. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys, or even one or two of you guys, that comment on this video will know where it's from. I always need to have that kind of group in my fan base that know most music tracks that I've never even heard of. From games I've never even heard of. And that's what I appreciate about my fan base. There's a nice variety. Some that are full of surprises. Some good, some bad, but that can be said for pretty much any fan base for any particular person. Like ponies, for instance. There are some good fans there, and there are some crazy fans there that I would not allow to babysit my kids. Not gonna name any names, but seriously. But let's move on here. Not that I got anything against bronies. I mean, if they enjoy ponies, then that's fine. But there's always a limit to certain things. You gotta have balance. If your fandom goes too intense, people are gonna look at you the wrong way. Same we said for pretty much anything. It's like, I enjoy pizza, but if I started to like uh, eat like box after box of pizza in my underwear, and then start making love to the boxes, then well, I'm not exactly a normal person after that. 
Not that I would ever do that, because, you know, I have taste. It's like, why save it for a pizza box when I can save it for a woman, you know what I mean, ladies? Not that I would eat ladies in my underwear. I mean, come on, I'm not a cannibal. I'm not saying, oh, he's gonna eat ladies instead of pizza? What the hell, man? No, seriously. I enjoy meat, but uh, human meat is not exactly on my list. That was close. There, how do you like me now, Koopa? I figured I would duck while climbing that vine so I can get a little bit more leverage when I jump up there. Okay, this music track is okay, but it seems a little repetitive. It seems to loop after, what, 20 or 30 seconds? That's not exactly a lot of time. I'm pretty sure the original track was intended to be this short, but if it's that short, I don't think I would have gone with it. Just needed a little bit more inspiration and it would have been much better yet. Yeah, you know what, I'll take that hit. This is not a good level to do when you're big. For this hack, you don't have a choice. You can only be big. You can't be small. Okay, this is a pretty interesting level that focuses on the skull raft so much. And you still get to keep going. I thought I would find myself going in one of these pipes. Uh, something tells me I should probably just keep going right first. Because I would like to get this fire flower before I leave. But there was a switch palace, I think. Yes, the blue one. Alright, so far so good. In switch palace progress, at least. But we still haven't found the green one. And we've been finding green blocks since the very beginning. This is very weird. So let's go to Wet Dry Forest. <laughs> Again with the Mega Man music, this time Hornet Man. You know what, I'm gonna rewind that because that was way too short-lived. But that was my own fault. Okay, they did say that the secret exit is related to where you find the P-Switch. I still remember from like an episode or two ago that the secret exit had a little hint to it. Oh, these things hurt you. Okay. You know what? I'll take that hit. I spoiled myself far too long. <laughs> Keeping fire flowers when I really shouldn't. Do I really want that? No. Is the water going to rise eventually? It usually does at some point. Okay, for some reason I phased through that enemy. I thought I was supposed to take damage there. For some reason I did not. Not that I'm complaining, it's just weird. Oh jeez, that's the big ass muncher. Oh man, get that thing away from me. Jeez, I thought I was going to get hit by one of these. Okay, something tells me I need a trampoline to get up there. And I probably can go on this pipe. Now it's just a matter of like finding a way to get over there. Wow, nice job. Oh, panzers. Gotta be careful with them. Don't know how I went for that one if I deliberately skipped another. Oh, block bridge. Let me get it on that. Perfect. Now let me get on that in another way. Okay, I found the trampoline. It's too bad I don't have the means to kill most of these enemies. I just have to dodge them. Is this where I really want to go? Should be, yep, Silver Peace Witch. Yeah, it takes me back here. <coughs> cool. Okay, I still need hints on where that secret exit is. 
Do I go on this pipe? Okay, there's something that leads up there. Oh, that was bad. That was also bad. That was even worse. So I need that mushroom to recoup some of my losses. There's a door up there. So I'm thinking the P-switch will take me up there. So let's test that out. Um... Ugh. Maybe I'll just tap the rewind button and already I'm just reliving it. Okay, now nah, that was just cheap. Okay, now, now I'm sucking. There's cheap and then there's sucking. And in some videos, they actually coincide with each other. Okay, so let me take the P-Switch with me. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need the trampoline to get up there. So with that, let's just focus on what needs to be done. We'll take this. Move on. The peasants rejoice. I wonder if there's actually two exits that can be found in this exact same spot. I actually think I should just leave the trampoline over here. It'll be a lot safer that way. Rather than constantly having to throw the block repeatedly. And that would just be disastrous. I mean, throw the trampoline repeatedly. Now that would be disastrous. Oh, you can't even jump on those at all. So, let me just put the P-switch here. Aha! That's what I need the switch for. And there we go! Is this the secret exit or the normal exit? Oh, there's a secret. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. I thought they were just gonna throw two exits at me. Oh, well, that's a secret. Where the hell was the normal exit? Let me go take a look. Okay, I'm back here where like this whole puzzle started. Now let's see if there's a little connection on where I can actually go. I'm pretty sure I needed to do everything again, same as I did before. So let's try that. That seems so confusing. You would think the normal exit would be the secret exit and vice versa. Given the, what I've had to do. But that's not the case at all. Where did I find that normal exit before? It's been a while. Do I just jump up here? Nope, I broke the level. <laughs> and the level broke me as a result of that. Lesson learned. Don't do that again. Oh, wow. Of all the places to land. I would pick the worst possible one. Like, I just have this feeling that I gotta do something. Wait a minute. Can I actually take this silver P-switch over here? Oh, I can't go beyond here. Okay. <coughs> Fair enough. And let's just go. Should the P-switch use up here? Or trampoline use up here? I think I have a general idea. First, I gotta get to the trampoline. The only way I can do it is... That was close. It's through here. So I need the P-switch first. I thought I was going to clear that jump. And then I didn't clear that jump. So I pretty much forced it. Sad, I know, but still. It kept me alive. Ish. But moving on here. Now let's see if it's the trampoline I need to get up there. Or was it the P-switch? Let's find out. 
Aha! It was the trampoline. I figured as much. Now that was pretty interesting how to do this level. Not gonna lie. Alright, looks like I'm gonna stop the video here and in the next episode, we'll probably go to either the last forest or the digital forest. Goodbye everyone.